Cape Girardeau and Louisville. These young country stars coming along, what do you think about the current crop, the ones that are winning all the awards and everything? I know you're working with Randy in those dates. Oh, Randy, I adore. I, I love Keith Whitley. I think he's great. I like Skip Ewing. I like mm -hmm. Dean Dillon. I have my little favorites. I pick. For some reason, I pick more male than female. But there's, there's, a, there's a new girl out, Dana McVickery. Yeah, I Dana believe McVicker. it's her name. McVicker. McVicker? Yes. Is that right? right? She's uh -huh. wonderful. I, I think she's great. I mean, in my books, she's, she's tops. I think uh, that country music has to have an identity with uh, the person has to have an identity. You have to be able to hear that song one time and know who it is singing. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have to let something grow on you. The song, perhaps, but not the singer. You have to like that singer immediately, and they have to be identifiable. And I think Dana has that, and I think all these people that I named have that. Mm -hmm. All right, but all you young folks out there, that's exactly what you should know from the first lady <laughs> of country music, because every time she sings a song, you know it's Tammy Wynette. Thanks that's for being right. our guest. You're, Thanks, I you're enjoyed great. it. Thank Tammy you. Wynette, we'll take a break. Back to Shirley Hemphill. That's best. <laughs>